Hello everyone and welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV where today we will be discussing our newest signing. Earlier today Arsenal officially announced the arrival of 17 year old Christian Bielik from Legia Warsaw. Obviously he's a player that not much is known about due to his age and where he's been playing but we've got some information for you here. Crucially he plays a defensive midfield which is a position where Arsenal have struggled with for some time, probably since Gilberto Silva, Patrick Vieira, those sort of days, Arsenal haven't been able to find a player in that area. And with Bielik, we've got a player who, we're told, and it seems, will have the capability to come straight into the side. But also at 17, he's got a lot of football ahead of him, so there's plenty of time for him to develop. Another crucial aspect is the fact that he can also play centre-back, which doesn't rule out the signing of a centre-back this window, as is being discussed, but it does mean that Arsenal do have a bit more depth in that area, which is something that we sorely need. Um, Bielik has been likened to Vieira on his playing style, which we will talk more about that at the moment. Um, but firstly, he was born on the 4th of January 1998. Um, he's a graduate of Lech Poznan, which is supposedly the brightest academy in Poland. Um, obviously they're famous for their dance which Manchester City then stole which Arsenal then stole in our victory over them this weekend um, Bielik is 6 foot 2 which obviously gives him a midfield presence but he is low on weight I think he was about 65, 65 to 70 kilograms I read which is obviously not ideal for that midfield presence but he obviously is 17 um, he could play around that Crucially, his height is one of the reasons why he's likened to Vieira, because he does have the aerial dominance, which Arsenal have lacked at times. Um, and he is very defensive-minded, so he will happily sit in front of the back four, with the wing-backs going forward and the other midfielders going forward. Bielik will be happy to sit there and mop up the danger, a bit like we saw Francis Coughlin do at the weekend. On top of this, and what is also what I think is crucial, is that he has an eye for a pass. So he can be the link between defence and attack. Which is what Arsenal have lacked some points this season. It's been quite difficult for us to turn defence to attack. But with a player there that can sit in front of it. Sit in front of the defence and mop up the danger. And then pick out the ball to the midfield. Or straight forward to Giroud or Welbeck. Whoever's playing up front. Uh, that could be crucial. Um, Bielik is rather untested. He has three league starts. For Leggy Awards or this season, five appearances in general. Um, but the telling, the telling thing about him is that he has impressed. He came to the club last season, um, and he got his chance really through four months um, where Warsaw were had a lot of injury problems, which obviously Arsenal can relate to. And he came in, he impressed. Um, crucially, uh, those three league starts. He played 90 minutes for all of them, which is obviously something that Arsenal will be looking for him to continue to do at the club because that sort of position you want to avoid making substitutions where at all possible. Concern has been raised about his discipline because from his five appearances he has picked up two yellow cards. But obviously that's something that can be ironed out as long as you don't pair him with Matthew Flamini. Um, but obviously at only 17 it's something that can be built upon. We've seen similar with Callum Chambers. He's had a poor disciplinary record since his arrival from Southampton in the summer. So it's, it's something that can be improved upon and it's not too bad. And in that position as well, in defensive midfield, there is going to be times where you have to pick up a yellow card. Also, in his time at Warsaw, he has made an appearance in the Europa League, which means that he is put to quite a high level. That's obviously decent competition especially now there's a lot of decent teams playing in there um, and it's good experience for him obviously it's not quite the heights of the Champions League but nowadays there's not too much different between the Europa League and the Champions League when you're talking about the smaller teams in the competition whether it's a good signing or not it obviously remains to be seen as every signing does but I'm pretty confident with everything I've seen everything I've read that this could turn out to be a good transfer for Arsenal, um, there's two key parts to it. Is that at 17, it makes it a very good transfer for the future. But what's probably more important right now, given that defensive midfield is a problem where we have struggled, 
is that Bielik seems to be able to come straight in and do a job for us immediately, which is obviously important as we come up with the FA Cup, the Champions League and the Premier League throughout the rest of the season. So, yeah, it looks confident. Obviously, Arsenal paid. It's an undisclosed fee, believed to be around 2.5 million to 3 million, which in the grand scheme of things isn't much at all. So it seems like another good signing for Arsenal and hopefully it won't be the last time that we have to assess a player before the transfer window ends. If you've got anything that you want to say on Bielik, then please just get involved in the comments below and I'll speak to you again soon.